Hello, I'm Taylor with uh, Mordax Systems. Uh, we're a small modular company based out of uh, Vancouver, Washington. And I'm gonna show you uh, the Mordax data. So this is the Mordax data, um, well, a multi-function module. Uh, so we have an oscilloscope, a spectral analyzer, spectrograph, a chromatic tuner, waveform output, clock output, and voltage monitor. I'll start by showing you the oscilloscope. So it's a four-channel oscilloscope. Uh, you get individual control over the scale, position, AC-DC coupling, and you can turn them on and off per channel as well. Uh, you also have cursor functions where you can do your measurements of your voltages and frequencies. You can trigger off of any of the four channels as well to get like a clear signal and have it hold the waveform onto the screen for you. Um, you have an adjustable time scale uh, and a run and stop. Next we'll have the spectral analyzer. This will allow you to view your harmonics over the frequency range, and you can switch here between the different uh, the different channels. And you have uh, window types up here, which are essentially filters that give you clearer signal. Then spectrograph, which is essentially the spectral analyzer, but over time. So you have you have an you have an extra or uh, an extra axis that is scrolling across the screen. Then there's chromatic tuner, which Currently, it's going to take some repatching to show you it very well, but it's going to kind of dance around right now because it's a very quick signal. And then we'll move over to the other two modules here, which are running uh, the generation program. So we actually have a clock output. Uh, currently, it's being uh, externally synced to a uh, sequencer one. And I'll kind of slow it down and show it adjusting its time scale. For each of these clocks, you also have division and multiplication, and as well as the offset settings. So you can hear the hi-hat. And it's offset currently, um, so that it's giving you off beats on that hi-hat. Those controls can also be uh, controlled with CB. Right now it's an audio rate signal, so it's kind of losing its mind, but you can do the same for the offset as well. And any of the four, four inputs can be used for any of those functions. And while doing that, you also have buffered through output, so you're not losing any signal when you, uh, when you patch in. Um, then next we have the uh, dual uh, digital oscillator. Uh, kind of standard uh, synthesizer waveforms, you have square, sine, triangle, uh, and sawtooth, uh, and then you have control over the phase, the amplitude, and the offset of those uh, of those waves. So you can kind of just pick out a very small bit of voltage that you would like to be modulating and use it as an LFO or an audio rate modulation source as well. Uh, it does track uh, volts per octave, and you can uh, also control an internal digital PCA. And that's uh, that's a majority of what, what the guy's doing. We will be able to add more programs in the future. Uh, we definitely plan on uh, having XY uh, display uh, coming up soon. And it's all updatable through an SD card on the back. So currently we, we have the uh, sequencer one sending uh, gate uh, triggers to the clock section. Um, those are controlling the kick drum uh, and the... Um, the hi-hat sound, um, well, it's actually on this guy, but um, then the sequencer one is actually modulating uh, the pitch of the um, uh, waveform one in this. You can actually see the, the square wave dancing around here. I can actually turn this up so you can actually hear the oscillator too. on the make noise maps that are affecting the sounds of the kick drum and the uh, hi-hat.
have uh, sold out of our uh, pre-order run and are hoping to get a second run started uh, in late spring. Uh, the cost currently is $3.95. Hopefully it's going to stay there. We're pretty sure it will. Um, and if you'd like to find out more about the module, go to uh, mordax.net.